Hey guys, what's up Cancer? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We're gonna do a love reading to see where things are for you currently around you and the person that is on your mind. We're gonna get a few oracle cards, then we're gonna do a feelings reading to see how you're feeling, how they're feeling, and the outcome of those feelings. So, remember the energies can always be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading, so just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, Cancer, let's get it. What's going on around Cancer for love currently? What is the current energy around Cancer's current love situation or whoever it is on their mind? All right, we just got to wait. Why oh, maybe keeping a lot in. I gotta, oh, there we go. All right, you got power couple. Wow. Building an empire. Building a empire. It's supposed to be an an empire is within reach for you. Sorry. The freaking, <clears throat> that's the nerd in me. The grammar got the best of me. All right. So what's currently, <laughs> so it looks like you and this person may actually have the ability to achieve quite a bit. You have uh, safety first. Use ca caution. They are promiscuous. Wow. All right. In different pages, incompatible desires or perspectives. So first off, it looks like the possibility or potential for things to really elevate, to really go somewhere that's like, you know, like above and beyond is here. But then you have safety first. So use caution. They are promiscuous and incompatible desires or perspectives. Things may be on like communication may be needed kind of like on two different wavelengths like one person may want something that's more like grounded more secure and then things may kind of be coming off on the physical or uh, on like the other side but that says use caution they are promiscuous so trust your gut with that one because it looks like the possibility of um you know something long term something Stable, something kind of astronomical is here but possibly like that's not where both energies heads are at right now all right let's see what flipped you have the future becoming clear about your vision of the future so you may be kind of in the space of like realizing what it is that you want and how you want to move forward and you know somebody could still be on like the non-committal page you have divine timing. Everything will work when the universe sees fit. And new love. Chance for new love is on the horizon. So, you know, it just may be a situation um, where it kind of takes time for things to work out. You have at the bottom third party. A third party is interfering with your relationship. And then you also have I love me. Self-worth. You are not being valued in this connection. Consider moving on. Pretend you have masquerading there as well. <clears throat> Pretending to be what you like in a partner. All right, so Cancer, let's see what's going on around the feelings. So for some, I mean, this could be with new love, a rekindle, or, um, you know, kind of... It, for some, it may also be kind of moving on. Yeah, just as I said that, the Six of Swords. Um, because it's, it's like on one side, somebody's becoming very clear about what they want, how they want to progress. And it feels like somebody wants that security, that stability, that long term. But <clears throat> it's, it's kind of feeling like both sides may not be on the same page when it comes to that. All right, so Cancer. How is Cancer feeling? How is Cancer feeling, please? All right. Well, you got the sun for how you're feeling. That's Leo energy, but also the sun. You may be kind of focusing on, on uh, self as well. But as far as feelings, 
that's the happiest card in the deck for how this person is feeling um you got the nine of cups which is it, it is wish fulfillment is happiness and is contentment as well so over here you got the moon and the death card for the outcome scorpio energy as well as cancer pisces so you know a whole lot of water there waters represent that emotions but we're starting with the sun so it kind of feels like some a big change is coming around the situation it's either unexpected or somebody's kind of like pulling back we got to clarify that and see show me the sun for how cancer is feeling please show me the sun no oh, no 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 too many Oh, you may already feel like somebody is kind of, or like there's this energy of, um, for some it could be something that, that's kind of interfering, but when you have the King of Wands and the Devil, Fire Energy, Capricorn Energy, this may seem like kind of more dating, just kind of kicking in, like a friendship, hanging out. Um, it could be like just, even, even if it's like somebody that you work with, this is almost reminding me of with this king of wands and the devil there's a lot of leo energy there but this can be somebody who's like very um sexually charged as well so when you have safety first you use caution they are promiscuous you may kind of feel that way there could be some codependencies or even like addictive behaviors addictive tendencies and maybe that is on a sexual level but it does kind of have a feeling here um it's almost like to be careful what you wish for vibe but then i clearly see where some cycles are getting broken here with that death card at the end why does cancer feel like that double energy i mean this could be somebody who's like very hot very tempting like a lot of swag a lot of confidence around them but then it never it doesn't really elevate the knight of wands yeah this could be more of like a non-committal energy or you know somebody who's kind of in and out very fast moving show me this um nine of cups for how this person is feeling so with the nine of cups um that is about wish fulfillment and contentment you have the ace of cups here and the page of cups this person has legit feelings over here so it's funny because on one side we go from like all this passion all this fire all this wands energy this heat and then on this side However, this is going to resonate. We have all this lovey-dovey feelings are very much there. Um, wanting to express that. Yeah, see, wanting to like date or um, even reconcile to ask you out. So it's kind of like that's where the different pages are coming in. Because over here, however this is resonating, you got this wands, this devil, this, this a lot of, like I was saying, this promiscuous energy, this fire, this passion. And you got the three of pentacles so that's that's kind of like hanging out and you know it's it's on a scale of one to three it's the three i mean a scale of one to ten is the three so it's kind of like just having fun then on this side you get the ace of cups the page of cups the three of cups this is somebody who wants to express their emotions wants this love because it's there it's real and like wanting to date to see you to express these feelings so you got like a whole lot of like red fire passion and then you got a whole lot of like blue uh, i don't know why blue is coming through but um lovey dovey whole lot of it over there so i think that's that different pages show me this moon for the outcome for cancer you got the Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but it doesn't have to be. This is kind of like moving forward, taking it day by day, but right now it doesn't feel like somebody's, it feels like they know what they want, but somebody's keeping a whole lot of these feelings, these emotions, and a little bit more protective of self, and also kind of by the books. It looks like um, if, if this was something that was like more physical, though that's, it almost feels like it's kind of, uh, ties are being cut on that avenue right now so that's where this uh, safety first promiscuous energy sometimes this king of wands i mean this this is somebody who can be can be active or you know kind of 
I'm going to call it more of a free spirit. All right, Cancer. I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.